I felt like a lot of products I would use would be too heavy on my hair. Um, I felt like sometimes I would style my hair and it wouldn't be as moisturized as I wanted it to be. And it came down to the fact that I was using a lot of products with coconut oil. So we need to talk about coconut oil. Oh my gosh, what if my hair hated coconut oil this whole time and I just like didn't know? I started this kind of like mentality of like leaving coconut oil alone like six months to a year ago, really close to a year ago. And I struggled with how to like express it to y'all because I know it's a very like hard reality to accept. I did a video all about how much I was obsessed and in love with coconut oil like eight years ago. Hey everybody, what's up? Happy Sunday. Like this product is something that it needs its own video. That's how that's how amazing it is. It needs its own video, its own spotlight, its own time to shine. What are we talking about today? We are talking about magic in a jar. Magic in a jar. Seriously, magic in a jar. This is what we're talking about today coconut oil and eight years ago where was I what was I doing in life how much did I actually know about hair not that much before I get too much into it though let me just say this disclaimer if you love coconut oil if you have found coconut oil to be the most amazing thing you've used on your hair you've never found anything better than coconut oil for your hair by all means keep doing you. This video is my personal experience slash things that I've heard and come to learn from different stylists that I know and also my own research. And to be 100% transparent with y'all in this video, uh, my hair actually doesn't have anything in it right now. I just did a deep condition. So what I like to do after a week of styling, I like to give my hair some time to breathe. So I'm letting my hair kind of breathe without any product in it or anything and just like let it do its thing. So um, we're coming very natural <laughs> um, on camera today. Now, I have been using coconut oil since I started my natural hair journey. My method of trying out products and things over the years has always been by you know, looking at the ingredients that I'm using in the totality of all the products that I'm using on my hair to see what products are actually doing something to my hair or like what are the standout things in my regimen and then those things end up being like my go-to's, right? So a lot of times, you know, shampoos, for example, can feel very, you know, the same. Um, might have a little bit more lather here, might smell a little different here, but honestly, not that many shampoos impress me. Um, but there are those few that stand out from the rest for me. I really have been wanting to have this conversation about coconut oil with y'all. It's one that I have been trying to find a way to approach delicately because I know so many of us love coconut oil, use coconut oil in so many ways, and I am not trying to sit here and bash coconut oil whatsoever. For me, I've noticed that over the past year and a half or so, as I've been really paying attention to the ingredients and the things that I'm using on my hair more than ever, I've actually kind of gone through a whole, I guess it's been like a phase, like the past like year and a half, two years where I really, I don't know, products just weren't working for me. Like my wash and goes just weren't looking good anymore. Like I felt like my hair was still nice, but it wasn't like, clumping the way that I knew it could. It wasn't really, I don't know, it just wasn't doing what I felt like it should be doing based on how consistent and how like good the products that I were that I was using were supposed to be. So I started this like whole transition of, okay, let me just like start from a blank slate and look at my hair for what it needs, um, where it's at right now, and try to find new ways of thinking about my hair. Because in the last couple years, I've been talking to a lot of stylists and really like getting like professional advice on, you know, the health of your hair and understanding how to treat it and how do we
we choose the products that we use for the health of our hair or for like a particular look versus just buying a, a product because it looks cute or it smells nice or like all the marketing aspects of it because there's so many options out there now that I feel like lots of products have pretty packaging and lots of products say, you know, for natural hair, for curly hair, for textured hair, for dry hair, for frizzy hair, for this, for that. And so it's like, whoa, you know, there's a lot of options. And I think that it's great to have lots of options, but it also made me think like, how are people choosing the right products anymore? And I had to start with myself because I was also like in this cycle of like getting everything that was um, catering to curly hair and like trying out all like literally all these things on the market and brands are just putting out new products so much faster now that it's like okay I know that most people aren't like throwing away tons of products and then re-upping every six months like most of the time we all kind of got our go-to shampoo or co-wash conditioner like stylers like you're not really switching it up too much so when I was kind of going through this like feeling of like not liking my hair, my wash and goes weren't really looking good, starting from a blank slate. So I started, um, I, I started having these conversations with stylists that I knew about, different ingredients that you know a lot of naturals use that actually aren't good for your hair. <laughs> Coconut oil was one of them. My little heart was broke because I was like, oh my gosh no way is coconut oil like not good for your hair like what like i made a whole video about how much i loved coconut oil like in the beginning of my hair journey like i would look for coconut oil in my products i was happy when i saw coconut oil in my hair products until i started having these conversations and started to be educated about how the molecules in coconut oil are actually too big to actually penetrate your hair shaft. So a lot of times what will happen is that you use a product with coconut oil or pure coconut oil and it will coat your hair um, and it will just make your hair look really shiny and might feel good but not actually moisturize at the level that you really want your hair to be moisturized. So I think for me, I, I I haven't used pure coconut oil on my hair in years, but I was using a lot of products with coconut oil in them. And so my hair was still having the effects of the coconut oil, just like obviously in more diluted, small increments of it. And so I started slowly but surely switching out my products that had coconut oil in them. And I realized something. My hair started looking better again. Like my hair, like, I remember when I first, first, first went natural and the first line of products I really was using on a regular basis to style my hair was Kinky Curly. The little custard and a little leave-in conditioner. And I remember how impressed and like kind of like eye-opening it was the first time seeing my curly hair look like that. Um, mind you, my, my curls themselves were trash, right? But it was the way that my curls were just really fluffing out but still having definition and I remember that so like distinctly because it was the first time that I was like whoa I think I'm supposed to wear my hair curly and that moment was literally in 2010 or 2009 something like that maybe 2010 summer 2010 actually and um now I kind of had that that feeling again like I started using products that didn't have coconut oil in them because actually Kinky Curly doesn't have coconut oil in it either. I'm not trying to say like throw away everything with coconut oil in them. I think it's one of those things where maybe you can start to use up whatever you have and then find other products that don't have coconut oil in them and see how your, your hair reacts. Um, it's just like one of those things where if coconut oil is your moisturizer, for example, like you're using coconut oil for moisture there are so many other oils and moisturizers that work better than coconut oil. And I think that was the other key to this was that when I was using other products that didn't have coconut oil, those products were using other things to moisturize my hair. So, 
or ingredients like sweet almond oil and jojoba oil and avocado oil mango butter like there's other moisturizers that are better for your hair um, for the moisture impact than coconut oil um, you can still use coconut oil on your body you can still use it to cook with you can consume it for like a healthy fat all that stuff but this is the reason why I have stopped using coconut oil in my hair products because my hair hates it <laughs> my hair really doesn't like it that's it y'all that is that is the breakdown of why I have quit coconut oil I was thinking the other day that I'm gonna go ahead and start kind of like a living list of hair products to build on the video that I did for y'all the silicone free um, sulfate free coconut oil free products um, from that video but I'll, I'll be posting a living list on my website for y'all so you can definitely keep up with that list continue to check it as I update it um, if you have coconut oil free products that you love definitely comment down below okay because I want there to be more options for coconut oil free products out there and just a general list because it is like time consuming to look and find products without coconut oil because you really like it's such a selling point for so many brands and so many products that you literally have to look at the ingredients and find it um, and that can take time so just trying to help y'all out help myself out too because I want to keep using products that don't have coconut oil in them as well and so yeah definitely let me know if y'all have any of the questions and I will see you in my next video bye